Hello, chemistry student. This is Mr. Worley here. I'm excited to bring to you Lecture 7-2, Oxidation Numbers. Our learning objectives are to list the rules for assigning oxidation numbers, to give the oxidation number for each element in the formula of a chemical compound, and to name the binary molecular compounds using oxidation numbers and the stock system. I want to point out that we have sample problems in lecture today numbers E and E1, A through C. And also, section review questions number one and two, all letters. For our learning activity today, you are going to need your book. Um, I'm going to have a copy of the book right here, Oxidation Numbers. You are going to need a paper. And I'd like you to head your paper something similar to this. You see my paper here where it says, um, your name will go here instead of Worley, Chapter 7. Chapter 7, and this isn't 7-1, this is 7-2, so Mr. Worley made a mistake already. Notes slash lectures exercises. Also write down the sample problem E, E1, A through C, and section review questions 1 through 2 all. Uh, it's good to write this down so you don't have to go back to the beginning of this video to... to write them down. Um, your paper will look a little bit different than mine. Mine is cut off so that I can use it more easily while uh, teaching on the video. So don't worry about that if yours is different. All right. Well, it's time to move on. So without further ado, let's get started. <coughs> Oxidation numbers. Read along with me. I recommend that you have also a two colors of pens, one color for the example problems and another color for the note-taking. Because remember, you're taking notes and doing the example problems together. As for me, I'm going to have two different colors of pens as well. Uh, what are my colors going to be? Well, hmm. ah, my colors are going to be teal for sample problems and black for notes. I'm using pens because it, it shows up better on the screen. I'd like you to use pencil or uh, erasable pen, so that way you can um, easily erase if you need to. All right, now I think I'm ready. So let's read together. <coughs> uh, I recommend that you read with me. Don't just stare off at the screen and hope the information will somehow absorb into your brain, because I'm telling you, it's not going to. OK. <coughs> Let me focus. All right. Uh, Maybe a little less bright. All right. The charges on the ions composing an ionic compound reflect the electron distribution of the compound. What does that mean? That basically means the charges show where the electrons are. In order to indicate the general distribution of electrons among the bonded atoms in a molecular compound or a polyatomic ion, oxidation numbers, vocab word, you should write that down. Also called oxidation states are assigned to the atoms composing the compound or ion. Unlike ionic charges, oxidation numbers do not have an exact physical meaning. In fact, in some cases they are quite arbitrary. However, oxidation numbers are useful in naming compounds, in writing formulas, and in balancing chemical equations. And, as it will be discussed in Chapter 19, they are helpful in studying certain types of chemical reactions. Nice. Basically, we're learning a different way of naming, uh, na naming compounds. Last chapter, we learned the, the stock, the old system, the, bi the, the basic way for naming uh, binary ionic compounds. But now we're going to learn the oxidation number way. Moving up. OK. Assigning oxidation numbers. As a general rule, in assigning oxidation numbers, shared electrons are assumed to belong to the more electronegative atom in each compound. More specific rules for determining the oxidation number are provided by the following guidelines. OK, so in your notes, you're going to be writing the rules for oxidation numbers. This is important. I want you to write them down. I don't want you to write down all word for word, or else that would take forever. But what we're going to do here is we're going to write down the basic rules so we can know how to write oxidation numbers. I want you to take out a piece of paper, if you haven't already, to head it like this. Uh, so that you'll be ready <coughs> to write notes. And I'm going to go to the next video. Please go to video two for me. Thank you very much.